Since you guys love my spider gear knob from a few weeks ago, I've decided to make another spider project. Before I made the shift knob, this was the spider I originally had. I've had this one drying for about four months now, and it's another Huntsman. While this spider was drying, I had it sitting on this block, and that was to keep the body in the air and the legs spread out. But you can see here that the legs really aren't in a great position. I'd really like to try and reposition them, but because the spider's so dry now, I'm scared they're just going to break off. And then I remembered I saw a comment on the shift knob that said I could spray alcohol on the legs, and that would soften it up enough that I could move them into position. So the plan for this spider is to grab myself a piece of burl. I'm going to have him sort of climbing up the wall here. And then I've also got this little beetle, and I thought it might look cool if there was like a little fight scene. So I guess all I can really do is try this alcohol and see if it works. The front two legs look like they're in pretty good position. I think it's mainly the two behind that that really need to be fixed. So I think they're the two I'll focus on. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to ask to buy this off me, so I'm going to run an auction on my eBay store, so if anyone's interested in making a bid, I'll leave a link at the top of the description. I can't remember who gave me the tip for the alcohol, but that's worked amazing. That looks so good. Now I'm just going to work on a couple of these back ones, and I'm not going to manipulate it too much, because once it's on the burl, that's when I'll get its final position. I think that looks pretty good. There's definitely enough flexibility in those legs that we should be able to get a nice position. There's one other thing I want to try and do. See how the body's all sunken in? I want to try and plump it up a bit. And someone had a suggestion that I should try and fill it with resin. I'm not too sure how well this is going to work. I've got myself the biggest needle I can find. I think I might spray some more alcohol on it to soften it up and see if we can get it in there and plump it up a little bit. So I was able to inject some resin, but it doesn't look like it's plumped up the body and I'm too scared that if I muck around with it too much, I'm just going to ruin it. Because I did unfortunately get some resin on the legs here, I didn't want it setting in a weird position. So I've just put it on this piece of burl. This isn't the piece I'm going to be using, but I just want to make sure that it's spread out and kind of in a position that I want. This is the piece of burl that I've chosen, but before we go casting with it, I need to stabilize it. And I'm going to do that by using my homemade vac chamber. I've just got some cactus juice in there. I'm going to pop the wood in and then suck all the air out. When stabilizing timber, just make sure that the liquid is covering your piece. I've got some old cactus juice here that I need to pour over the top. You can see it looks a bit murky. That's because it's been used a few times. Now all I have to do is go pop this in the oven for a couple of hours. Now for the fun part, we get to add some color. The first thing I'm gonna do is put some black acrylic paint on this, and then I'm gonna add some chameleon color. I did think about leaving this raw, but I think because of the color of the spider, it's just gonna blend in too much, and we're just gonna lose it.
So I've now got my burl all nice and coloured up, looks really pretty. So now I'm going to add my spider. Now I'm just going to have it on the side of the hill here, like it's climbing up. That looks perfect. Now I'm just going to put some UV resin on a few legs and hopefully it'll stay there. I think that looks pretty good. Now it's time to add the beetle. Now I'm a bit worried about this beetle. I have a bad feeling it's gonna leak some air. So I'm in two minds whether to try and coat it in UV resin to seal it up. It just looks really dry and I can just imagine all the air coming out. So I think I'm gonna take the risk and coat it. Well, I think we're ready to do the pour. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super nervous about doing this one. I'm just gonna cast it in this plastic container by using some art cast. Well that's our pour done, now we just got to hope it turns out. I'm just going to go pop this in the pressure pot now and I'll check on it a bit later. I'm not even sure I want to lift this lid. I'm too nervous to see how it turned out. Holy sh**. Alright, I think you guys are going to have to wait before you see this one. Alright, I'm going to go sand this up. So I've got all my sides sanded all nice and flat, but I think I might do something a little different and I might bevel all my corners. I've seen a few photos on Instagram lately where the blocks look like gems and I think it looks really cool. I'll leave a link to a couple of the photos down in the description. Well, that was definitely a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Getting all these angles right, we're a mission. Now all I have to do is run through some grits up to about 2000 and then give it a polish. Have you ever seen that movie, Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler? That was a weird one. I'm almost sure there's a type of name given to this type of cut too. Well guys, what did you think of that one? Did you like the way I shaped the blank? I reckon it turned out pretty cool. And do you remember when I poured the white resin over the top? Well check this out.
How awesome does that look? And look how creepy it is. See the spider's legs? You can see it going over the glowing river. That's so cool. Well, that's all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask to buy this off me. So what I've decided to do with this one is I'm going to put it up for auction on my eBay store. So if anyone's interested in bidding on this, I'll leave a link in the top of the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.